Hello everyone, it is an Aldi haul this week, so if you're excited for this week's video, give it a thumbs up, and it's my dog Sunny's birthday today, so give it a thumbs up for my dog Sunny because she's awesome and she turned four today. So also, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, go ahead and do so right now, take a second and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that as well. Now, before I get into the Aldi haul, I found a lot of great fun finds, but I wanted to tell you there is no taste test this week, and that is because we're going out of town on a little family vacation. We are driving, so this is gonna be like some road trip snacks that you're gonna see in this video. So if you are in the mood for snacks, um, this is your video for the week. Also, I wanted to say that if you wanted to see um, the road trip and like the things that we're gonna be doing, I am going to be posting everything on my Instagram in my stories so you can watch and follow along with what we're doing and I'm going to be doing a travel vlog as well so that will be up on YouTube. Now it's time to get right into the video. We're gonna start here with a couple frozen items. You're gonna notice we didn't get too many perishables just because obviously we're gonna be out of town. So we got, Tim wanted another one of the Stromboli. He said the pepperoni was the better one. So he grabbed another one of these. It did go down in price this week. So he definitely wanted to grab that. He also found this. This is super um, convenient because it is a shrimp and scallop with champagne sauce. It says it's shrimp and sweet scallops with a creamy champagne sauce served in an oven ready terracotta pot. So it comes with these pots in here and you can kind of see it right here. So you just literally pop this in the oven and I'm curious to see how long this takes to cook. So I'm sure you guys are curious as well. 400 degrees and 30 minutes. That's not too bad. So that would be like a really nice fancy dinner if you have guests over and you don't even want to buy new pots or anything like that. I thought that it was a pretty good idea to have the ramekins and I think it's a nice touch to have those to be like now part of your dishware. So now I'm moving on to some tater tots. So I just recently bought some tater tots from Trader Joe's and I've been using them and I will say I actually like these better. So far of all the tater tots I've had, I believe these are my favorite now. I feel like they have the least amount of oil and they have that good crispy factor when we air fry them. So I would say these are my favorite tater tots. Um, yeah, I'm putting it out there. Those are my favorite. I also got some blueberries for my son. We have, you know, he has um, still a little bit of school and these are good for road trip too. So I'm actually gonna be buying all my fresh fruits and maybe a little bit of veggies to take with us too. We're bringing a big cooler and I'm gonna get all that at Sprouts. So um, don't fret, all these snacky foods that are not the best, we're also gonna be balancing it with some fresh fruit and some veggies to take with us as well. This is all the frozen and the only perishable we got. I'm gonna get into the rest of this, but I'm gonna put the frozen stuff away. I'll be right back. Before I get into the rest of the food, I also got this really cute little doormat and it was hard to find something so flat because my door has this little like rain shield or something down there and um, if a rug isn't very low, it'll just catch. So I found this and it's so cute. It says there's no place like home and they had a couple other ones. They had a lemon one that Tim really liked but we felt like this one would be better for like year round and so we grabbed that. Now to the Tim snacks. He picked out snacks for himself for the road trip. He grabbed two of the Archer um, grass-fed beef sticks. One is just the original and the other one is jalapeno and you can see them. That is what they look like. So he's gonna take these with us so we can have some things to munch on. He also grabbed, he was all about the beef jerky so he just got a little bit of everything. He got the cracked pepper one. This is spicy and um, he thought this one looked really good. He was telling me, he was like, this has a lot of moisture in there so I think it's gonna be really good. And then he grabbed this one for the value of it um, because this is like a large bag and it was um, I think almost the same price as this one. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. So those are all of his beef jerky snacks he got. Now I did say it was my dog's birthday and it is today. So we got her a little snack. Um, and of course, both my dogs will get it, get one. And then my cats get treats every time the dogs do. So we got her the bacon and cheese flavor. We made sure that these are rawhide free. So it says right here, zero rawhide. I know that's not good for dogs. Highly digestible. It helps clean the teeth. 
um, no artificial flavoring, and it is made in the USA. So basically, I did my due diligence, made sure that these are gonna be safe for my dogs, and obviously, will be home while they're eating them. I'm always a little like, hesitant with the new treats just because especially treats like this that are like thick because I want my dogs to be safe but these look good so I can't wait to see how Sunny likes it for her birthday um yes I celebrate my animals birthdays they all get gifts and <laughs> Benson and I ran out today and got my dog a couple dog toys too super cute um and then actually speaking of Benson since we're going on that road trip I thought um just getting this this was nice they actually had these I haven't seen them before and these are like the magic ink um, picture things. They had a bunch of different ones. They had a Spider-Man, they have like educational, all these are fun little games you can do. And basically this magic ink pen will show um, different things on the paper. So once you color it in, things will start to appear and it's really fun. This is one of Benson's favorite like activity books to have. The only downside are these little markers. They do not last long at all. Like I doubt this is gonna last the entire book. So if you have any tips on how to keep these from drying out so fast, please let me know. It's so hard because I feel like I buy these all the time and then these pens just like kick the bucket super early. So, um, but it's fun activity for kids. Now you'll see we got some more sour cream and shamrock chips because we love these and these are the perfect little size for a road trip. So we got these for our travels and um, we loved this. We got the plain ones too. The plain ones were excellent as well, but this flavor was so delicious. I was like, we're getting two bags of that. So we got that. We also found the Easter pasta. Now Aldi always has me covered for all of the fun shapes and different seasonal pastas. And I've come to just look for this and expect it now. And these are super cute. There's little Easter eggs, there's bunnies, little baby chicks, and there's bells. So a really cute assortment and fun for the Easter holiday coming up. Now, also grab some beans. Um, this is my go-to place for beans now. I just usually don't buy refried beans, but we've been eating a ton lately, and I just stocked up. I love that these come in cans. They last forever. In fact, till 2026, so I guess not forever, but you know what I mean. Um, and the fat-free ones are vegetarian. The full-fat ones do have lard. I looked through today to make sure um, and yeah, these ones are safe for me. Also just grabbed some more of the scallop crackers with sea salt. We just didn't have any crackers, so I thought this is a good time to buy some to have on hand. Then up here, I found a couple of these specially selected tortellinis. Uh, these come dry, and Trader Joe's actually used to carry a bag of the very similar tortellinis. However, these actually have the flavor in them and everything's all said and done. These do have animal rennet, so if you're buying them as a vegetarian, please be aware of that. My um, son loves pesto, so I got these really for him and my husband, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that there is animal rennet in those. I also got some fun jelly beans, and I love these because look at the flavors. They have the best flavors. There's pear, tangerine, strawberry, smoothie, peach, grape, cotton candy, mango, watermelon, passion fruit, like every good flavor you could think of. Raspberry, banana split, tropical bun, all the good ones. So I thought this would be perfect to take on a road trip too. How fun. Um, here's the back in case you wanted to see it. But yeah, I mean, Easter's here, so got to get some jelly beans for Easter. I also wanted to grab this rug pad. So we have rugs all throughout the downstairs of our house because it's hardwood floor, and our dogs literally slip and slide all the time, and our rugs get, it, they get moved all the time. So this is perfect. I love this. You can cut this too, so you can size it. And I believe this will, pro for us, I think we'll probably use like three rugs for this because we don't put it completely under the entire rug. Like I'll cut two sections and put one at the front of the rug and one at the other side of the rug. That way it's not slipping. Um, and that seems to do the trick. So if you want a little tip, these are great to keep your rugs from slipping around and um, you don't have to use the entire thing. You can cut it and split it up. Uh, Tim wanted some more bacon. So we got some more bacon bits for him. He loves these. And then I could not leave the store without getting the Parmesan crisps. These are Benson's favorite. And this is one, this is a snack that he requested 
for our trip, so that's why I grabbed those. Now there's two other items that I have to take you out to my garage to show you, so let's go. Okay, so these are the two plants that we found. We bought some roses a while back and they are thriving. It's been raining like a ton, so our roses are very happy. Now we decided we're gonna get a blueberry and raspberry plant, so we did, we got them. And I love that you can already see the blueberry it already has like a couple little baby leaves coming out. You can see on the inside, it's wrapped in plastic. So we are going to plant these and hopefully have raspberries and blueberries. We have like a whole fruit tree um, lineup in our backyard and we are missing these too, but I love that Aldi sells things like this. It makes it so convenient and affordable if you have the space to have a garden. So had to grab these and later on during the year, I'll have to show you guys if they're thriving or not, if I can remember. Okay, so that is the Aldi haul for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's Sunny's birthday, show her some love, and subscribe if you have not already. Please follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna see our travels. You don't have to, but hey, I'm gonna be showing it all and um, having, we're gonna have a lot of fun, I can't wait. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.